Welcome back to the Transform Your Mind to Transform Your Life radio podcast. This is Life Coach Brittany Young, and you are listening to 5-Minute Fridays with Coach Brenna. Today, I want to talk on the topic, bring your friends along. And the reason I say that is because when God anoints you for a purpose, it is not only for you. Sometimes your appointment is so that you can bring your friends along and God is just putting you in position so that you can do that. And I want to use a couple of stories to illustrate this. The first one I'm going to use is the Bible story of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And if you've been to Sunday school, any at all, you know this story. But what I want to, you know, dissect today is not necessarily the Sunday school story, the field of story, but kind of like the purpose behind it all, right? So let's see, well, I want to show you how God works as far as purpose and destiny and appointment, right? Um, God had a plan for these four boys' lives from the minute that we were they were introduced to us in the Bible story. They had a purpose, like we all do. We all have a purpose, regardless if we know what it is or not, we're born with one. So God would choose these boys to be the wise men in King Nebuchadnezzar's palace. And the way this whole started is the king ordered that his chief of staff to go out into the kingdom <clears throat> and find young men who were strong, good looking, and healthy. You know, he just doesn't want any man in his palace. He wants them to be, I repeat, strong looking, right? Good looking and healthy so that, you know, hey, they can do the work. And he wanted these strong, good looking, healthy men to train them as wise men to serve in the palace. So <clears throat> starting with God's plan is that God made sure that these boys were chosen from the kingdom. Think about you know, Cinderella, <laughs> right? Where, you know, she had to be chosen. So God made sure that these boys were chosen when, uh, you know, the the um, the chief of staff was out looking for young men. And they were chosen. And then the next step was God made sure that they excelled in their learning to stand out from the crowd. Because what's, what was happening is, first of all, you had to be chosen because you had to fit the qualities that he was looking for. And then secondly, you were trained. And then at the end of your training, then they picked a few boys from the training. So God made sure that they excelled in their learning. So when it was time to pick, you know, like on the Bachelor Hands on Roses, <laughs> that they got the job. So. All four of them got the job. Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They got the job as one of the wise men in King Nebuchadnezzar's palace. That's the first step. That's level one, all right? Then God gave these four boys an unusual aptitude for understanding every aspect of literature and wisdom. And then... God gave Daniel, who had a specific purpose besides the other three boys, and we'll get to what his purpose was, but God gave Daniel the special ability to interpret the meaning of dreams and visions, and this talent was necessary to get him into the position for his purpose, to get him close to the king, right? That's what his position is to be. And I want to pause here for a minute and let you know that it does not matter the circumstances of your birth. You were meant for greatness and whatever you need to accomplish your mission, God preloads into you. Every aspect of your life has been preordained by God. God left nothing to chance. You've got to believe this. 
just like how he made sure that these boys were in position to get the job, to be trained, to be selected. All right, I'm going backwards, but you get the picture. So think of yourself as a top of the line sports car. Everything you need to perform at your highest level is preloaded and then some. How many of you read the manual if you have a top of the line sports car, right? It can do so many things. Even your phone, your cell phone, your smartphone. It can do so many things. Apple, which is what I have, preloaded into there that you're never ever going to get to. So that's what God did for us. Everything we needed to do our purpose was preloaded. So all we got to do is tap into it. So anyway, back to the story, back to Daniel. So King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. <laughs> and when I was reading this, I thought, who does this? But King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream and he wanted someone not only to interpret the dream, but tell him the dream. He ain't stupid. He figured that if you're smart, then you should be able to tell him what the dreams are. If you've got connection to source, you got connection to God, then you should be, you know, or maybe you think there were magicians. But anyway, sometimes people in authority have unusual requests. But as it turned out, Daniel was the only person in the entire kingdom who can tell the king not only his dream, but also interpret it. So when Daniel told the king his dream and what it meant, King Nebuchadnezzar appointed Daniel to a high position and gave him very valuable gifts. Like Daniel says, I don't want your gifts, but I guess he took them anyway. So he made Daniel ruler over all of his wise men. But at Daniel's request, the king also appointed Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be in charge of all the affairs of the province of Babylon. So this was where we get into the first, um, you know, episode of our story, right? Bring your friends along, right? Whenever God does something good for you, it is not just for you. It is for your friends, your family, your kids, your community. So bring them along. But today we're talking about friends. And a modern day version of this story, I told you I had two stories is LeBron James. LeBron James brought his friend, Rich Paul, along with him when he got into the NBA. Everybody criticized him because Rich Paul had no experience to be an agent. He didn't even have a sports-related degree. And everyone said it was the worst decision that LeBron ever made because his agent wasn't going to do anything for him because he didn't know what to do. But LeBron understood the concept of bringing your friends along. When you are giving a big promotion or your life has been elevated, you need to bring your friends along with him. And guess what? When you do, you will be rewarded, right? Today, LeBron James is worth $1 billion in contracts and endorsements. And his friend, Rich Paul, is now the number one agent in the NBA. And he's now expanding to Major League Baseball and the NFL. Yep, all because he had a friend, a real friend, right? Not those ones that we call friends, but they're all in it for themselves. He had a real friend that decided to share his glory with him. So this is why I want to focus on this topic today. The skill of interpreting dreams and visions were only given to Daniel. But Daniel remembered his friends when he became successful. God does not appoint you with a purpose just for you. You're supposed to help your friends, your family, your community, and even the world with your talent. Your friends have a mission and a purpose as well. And sometimes your only purpose is to get them in position. Now, this was not Daniel's only purpose, but this was one of his purpose, was to get his friends in a position. You see, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's mission was to show that their God 
our God is the only true God. That their God was the only God deserving of their worship. And when people asked them to bow down to a statue and they said, no, they said, listen here, my God is going to rescue me if you guys threw me into the fiery furnace. They also had faith. How many of you got that kind of faith, right? And this is what happened. The boys were thrown into the furnace before they, because they refused to bow down to the statue. And when King Nebuchadnezzar threw him into the furnace, bound, he witnessed with his own little eyes, four men walking around in the furnace, unbound and unharmed. The fourth man was the angel that God sent to protect them from harm. So, they served their purpose. They made the point. The king then made this degree. If any man, whatever race or nation or language, speak a word against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they will be torn limb from limb, and their houses will be turned into heaps of a rubble. <laughs> yeah, what a promise, right? All because Daniel brought his friends along so they can fulfill their purpose, so they can show that our God is the only true God and not some statue that can't do anything. So if you ever make it to the top, I want you to remember to bring your friends along. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Five Minute Friday with Coach Myrna. If you're watching in YouTube, I would love for you to subscribe. If you're listening to this on the podcast, Spotify, or Apple, then I would love for you to rate, review, and subscribe. Thanks again. I hope that you were inspired by this message. Maybe you thought of a few friends that you can help out, bring them along, because they say it's always who you know right? And not what you know. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, thank you for tuning in. Until next time, namaste.